Hi, I'm Dr. Connor Bell, and I'm the Bassoon Professor at Middle Tennessee State University. This video is to help you prepare for your mid-state auditions. This one in particular is going to be looking at the bassoon 9 and 10 level in the lyrical etude. In this one, we begin in 6-8, and we're in D minor, so it's always a good time to pull out your D minor scales and practice those while you're working on your etude. Um, it's marked really slowly, 40 to 44. Um, that's also, while it's slow, it's also pretty fast for this etude. At the end of this video, you'll hear me play it uh, once with a metronome at 32, with the subdivisions going, and then I turn the metronome off and I play it pretty close to 40 and take a little bit more liberties with the time. Um, if it helps, especially while it's fresh, you might put your metronome on the eighth note click instead of the dotted quarter note. Sometimes, depending on your metronome, you can put it on the dotted quarter note really slowly, like 30 beats per minute with eighth note subdivisions, or it might just be better to um, triple your tempo and put it on the eighth note. So if our goal tempo is 40 to the dotted quarter note, that's also 120 to the eighth note. And then if you wanna go half that tempo to start at 60 to the eighth note, more power to you. That'll help you be more accurate while you're learning all those 16th notes with all those crazy accidentals in front of them. While you're working on this one, I think the biggest thing is to be as smooth as possible especially in the measures like measure three and in measure eight and nine, where we have all these 16th notes. And in places like measure 12, where it's only eighth notes, but there are a lot of leaps and funky intervals in between them, you want it to sound smooth and effortless. And what that is gonna, how you're going to do that is by saying really open and relaxed with your uh, inside of your mouth, your throat, and your embouchure is staying nice and round, being driven in from the corners. And then you're trusting your support, your low abdominals, just engaging outward from the center of your body. That will smooth over any rough areas that you might have while you're playing awkward things like Stay open, rich, and resonant, and the rest will take care of itself. Um, in this one, again, like all these others, pay close attention to the dynamics and the articulations. They're really what's going to make this special, um, especially where they happen in unusual places. Uh, look with me, for instance, at the end of the second line, in measure 7, 8, 9, measure 10, we're forte, and our strong beats should be beat, big beat 1 and big beat 2 but we have accents on the last eighth notes of each of those measures. So instead of like I might want to interpret it, we need to flip it around and play and give those an extra juice. And that kind of throws your audience off kilter and makes it interesting. Don't forget to do the retard in the next bar. Um, at the end of this, it's marked allegro and also leggero, which means light. I think that's a new tempo. He doesn't indicate a new tempo for us. Um, and in my slow recording, I play it in tempo. In the um, second recording that's at tempo, I speed it up there. So if we're going like da do -a da 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 about there for starting, I like to do this at like da 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 kind of like that. And actually, you can tell how I snapped that. It's kind of in three four for a little bit. Instead of uh, one two three four five six, it's one and two, two and three, three and five, kind of like that. Um, you don't have to think of it that way, but that's kind of how it pops into my head at the beginning, at the end there, at the allegro. I do take it a little faster. And then get a nice little sting on that last note. Think about what mood you want to set in this one. What you want your audience to be thinking about while you're performing it. And you'll be set up for success. Keep it slow, keep it effortless, 
and make sure you're always playing the right notes and the right rhythms from the very beginning. And um, that way you're not learning bad habits they'll have to undo later. Good luck.